but in recent months, it is here in Los Angeles where punk has taken on hardly harmless and distinctly violent proportions. A band from Hermosa Beach, California called Black Flag has earned a reputation as a group with a particularly violent following. Local punks often put much of the blame for violence inside and outside the clubs and either the police or a hardcore fringe element of punks. Since near lethal eruptions had marred three of Black Flag's concerts earlier this year, we took our cameras for a first-hand look on October 24th when the band headlined the bill at an East Hollywood Hall. But Black Flag barely got a chance to play that night. Only one hour after the concert began, the police were summoned. Why? Now these kids are willing to pay and come in and have a good time, and now they're getting out of hand because they want to close the show down. They came to see my flashlight. The owner and the police said that we had to put a stop to it a half hour ago. Why? Because it's liners and visitors stone. I mean, I think if things had been kept under control, if we had let people in and all the bands had played, I, I think we could have, this wouldn't have happened. Sometimes hanging around outside, they get bored. Somebody says something, and somebody throws a bottle, you know, or something, and that just starts it. And you think that something bigger is going to happen. So I do fear that someone's going to get hurt. But a lot of people that get hurt is just because they like to fight, you know. And just, but they think they're having fun, you know. They don't really mean it. The, LAPD. the owner decided that he wanted to close the establishment and he requested us to stand by. We did so and uh, the people that were inside with the uh, group asked us to stand by and uh, wait a couple extra songs. We did. Uh, we waited a couple other additional songs. Uh, they refused to close up. They refused to quit the, the music. The owner requested, or we requested the owner to turn the power off on the music. He said he couldn't get to the music, couldn't get to the power, couldn't turn it off. They refused to leave. He requested to go inside and clean up. He had received uh, a lot of damage from the inside as to property. Uh, therefore, we went inside and uh, had the uh, individuals that were inside exit the uh, location. Could you tell me what was just happening there? Was that blood on the floor? And what was this zig heil, zig heil? I mean, that to me brings up the Nazi movement. Is the punk movement part of the Nazi movement? No, it's um, the police. That's the Nazi movement. The police is the Nazi movement? Yeah. It's a preemptive effort to stop the shows. It started two years ago. There was a gig in L.A. called at the Elks Lodge. That was the first time that happened. The police came. No provocation whatsoever. We made an effort to stop the gig. They came in. There were no exits. A phalanx of armed officers came through and beat the living crap out of a lot of kids and told them never to come back, okay? Why are the police against you? I think that it's probably because they're scared that it represents change. Change scares anybody who's part of an existing structure, like families, um, anything that you got, your job, the, um, you know, your kids are walking the streets. Yeah. No. Status quo. 
understand. As you might surmise, my guest tonight took part the other day in the film effort that we brought you, and I'd like to now introduce you to, to them. Daphne is Chuck Dukowski, who plays bass with the controversial Black Flag group. In a moment, we'll be right back with our guests to discuss the punk rock movement in Los Angeles and elsewhere in America, but right now, these messages. There's been a great deal of violence attached to the concerts of the Black Flag. Who's responsible for that? I mean, do you think the kids come because they want, they know that they're going to get involved with something that's dangerous? Yes. They, they, they go there for the intensity of the event. It's a tribal event. It's, it's a lot. They are um, aggressive, okay? Yeah. Very aggressive, very violent a music. It's an outlet. The actual violent it's controls the violent are not present. The fight, there are very few fights. I want to get, I'm up there on stage. I don't see that many fights. I'll see more fights in the bar across the street, still under the street. And how come we every don't day. see the police there? But the, but the, the action, police don't understand it. The action at the gig is violent. It's very aggressive. People come there to get drained, to let that out. Okay, it's a desperate world, you know. I mean, maybe four years from now, it's all going to be gone. Yet people want to go on living. And um, they still go on and make plans, and, you know, maybe they're going to have kids or whatever. But living in the back of their head, is that desperation. And the only thing that makes you feel better is to be so drained that it goes away. Chuck, where do you come from? I live in San Pedro. My parents were um, middle class parents. And they, my dad works for TRW and designs communication satellites. I went to San Pedro High and then a private high school in Chadwick. I was on the varsity football team. I went to college for four years. Majored in psychobiology. And now I'm here. And you, Daphne? Um, and I don't see many people walk around with a, a Tommy Hawk kind of a hairdo. I'm quite mm -hmm. sure you'll probably say, well, many people don't walk around with my hairdo. But the point is, what, what do you folks say about this? Well, they'd be much happier if I was busy breeding, right? But um, <laughs> to be honest, there wouldn't be any place in the future that I gave up on for my kids. So... I'm out making an effort to keep things moving, to keep change going on. My parents, at the same time, they admire me for doing it because they didn't do anything, right? And you, Beth? Well, well it scares them, right? Well, the, the Nazi swastika scares me, too, a little bit. I mean, because it represents something to to another generation that really yeah. is, is quite yeah. fearful. Yeah, sure. The whole thing with all of that, the symbols and the leather and the chains, it's uh, an effort to alienate the past. Okay, and what scares the police so much about it is that it's a militaristic uniform for change or for just plain rebellion. Rather than going like this and holding a flower out to the cop, the kid's got spikes on his arms and a leather jacket, and he looks like if there were 50 more of them, they'd be very, very dangerous. So in other and their words, activity is more aggressive, too. It's one authority sort of threatening another authority, and the other authority doesn't particularly no, like it's people threatened. thinking for themselves and authority being threatened by that. And, and also the... In five years mm -hmm. from now, you'll still be disrupting. I wonder. I wonder if Black Flag takes off. Maybe yeah. not Black Flag. But something else. Who I knows? Maybe I'll have moving, a house and ten moving. kids. Well, I'd like to thank I you I can't all. really look into the future that I far. Wanted to say you something. can't look five years from now? Well, I can look. Who knows? Maybe I'll be dead. 